<clears throat> this is part two of Christopher's exciting adventure to Bellevue as a homeless shelter. Check out this reverb. That's the natural reverb here in Bellevue. I have a room to myself. This is nuts. I can't believe how much I love this place. I am in a large room. I want to say, I want to say like 15 by 15. Two beds, just like Rikers. Two pretty crappy beds, metal frames. Are there springs underneath? There's a little bit of a springy type thing. And then what? The beds, the mattresses are just like Rikers, same thing. They're made by inmates at the world's largest series of concentration camps. People don't know that today because there's no reporter who thinks it's interesting. You know what's interesting? Where did Kim Kardashian have lunch today? Was, was Sarah Jessica Parker spotted in the West Village walking her dog? That is what reporters want to tell you. They don't want to tell you that the world's largest bunch of concentration camps since World War II are located in New York State. There are over 70, 70 factories around New York City, the world's largest concentration of slave labor being paid two cents an hour, some are paying, being paid 20 cents an hour. It depends on how many hours on the job. When I worked at Rikers, I was kicking ass last time. Well, two times ago. <laughs> I was making $2 an hour working in the mess hall. I was working in the kitchen. Kick ass. Oh, I'll have to say that for my Rikers diaries, though. And it was a great job because they starved you. And plus, I'm a vegetarian. So I had to steal lots of fucking food to survive. Steal fruits because they often won't give you fruits. I mean, it's a real Nazi, Nazi act. And... Um, yeah, I'll save that for the Rikers Diaries. I really, ooh, I should do the Rikers Diaries. You have no idea. I have hundreds of thousands of crazy stories. And most of them have never been written down because I don't have that kind of fucking time in the day. It's easier for me to do it verbally. So please pardon all the digressions, but this is the closest I may ever come to any kind of diary for most of the nutsiness in my life. So Rikers Island, um, oh, I could tell you so many stories about Rikers Island. The world's largest jail complex, small island, holds 40,000 people. The world's dumbest jail complex. And a jail complex really run by the inmates. <laughs> Total racket. I mean, that people have no idea what's going on in Rikers Island. Oh, my God. But I'll save those for Rikers Diaries. Um, the largest concentration camps on earth today are in New York State, and they are run by the government, 
Needless to say, almost all of those prisons all over the state, all across this large state of New York, almost every single prisoner in it is from New York City, not from the rest of the state. How is it that most of the world doesn't have almost any of the crime that we have here? How is that possible? We have the largest police force, so New York must have the lowest crime on planet Earth. Unless those police are useless. So, um, in all of those warehouses, I mean all of those concentration camps, I mean all of these jails around New York State, they're all factories who produce products called core craft, correctional craft. Do you understand? the world's largest army of slave laborers. You arrest a bunch of people for smoking pot or dealing pot, well, you've got yourself a worker who gets paid two cents an hour for the next 30 years. That's not bad. That almost sounds like a racket, doesn't it? It almost sounds a little suspicious. And remember, most people in our jails in America are not in jail for violent crimes. They're in jail for drugs. It's a racket. Where you live today is Nazi Germany is not doesn't come close to America today. And for those of you who aren't smart, um, oh, I don't think I ever finished my other point about how you guys doubted me and thought I exaggerated. But um, let me put it in perspective for you. Because you say, oh, no, Nazi Germany is really bad. Oh, it was, huh? Yeah, real special, right? It, oh, there was, it was special, you say? Oh, okay, really? Well, well, then answer this one. What was the difference between that, killing six million Jews, let's say, and killing millions and millions and millions and millions of Native Americans? Are you going to say that wasn't ethnic? Are you going to say they weren't targeting one race? Or are you going to say they didn't kill them? Or poison them? Is that what you're going to say? No. You were wrong. Admit it. You were wrong. You thought I was saying, exaggerating when I said America is like Nazi Germany. But wait. You forgot something else because you're a human, which means you miss all the details and you're a shitty detective. You forgot the millions and millions and millions and millions of black slaves we killed. I know sometimes you forget that Holocaust, don't you? Don't you hate when you just forget a whole Holocaust or, or a couple, especially when they're in your home, home country? Why don't they call the murder systemic slaughter of Indians? I'm one-eighth American, Indian, I might add. Full disclosure, Arapaho tribe. Adam Ant, name checks us in the song. Thank you very much. But I don't care. It doesn't matter that I'm a fucking American, uh, Indian. I don't give a fuck about that. I care about the weak. I care about the poor. I care about the underdog. So I don't need to be Native American to say, um, I think that's a little like murdering the Jews. I think so. So why is one called a Holocaust and one isn't? You know the answer to that. Drum roll. Because the Indians don't run the media. <laughs> For 300 years, they brought tens of millions of kidnapped blacks in ships. And they just fucking stacked those slaves in the fucking hulls like fucking cordwood. Do you think they fed them all properly? No. Do you think they, they treated them well and gave them all water? No. They're sailing across the Atlantic. Any fresh water is going into the fucking kidnappers' bellies. But that's not a Holocaust. Millions of people died during those trips. Because remember, they were fucking cheap. You should go back and kidnap some more. Plus, plus you have men and women. You have, remember, if you got female and male slaves, well, who cares if a few thousand die on the fucking trip? It's cost of business. It doesn't matter. There's plenty more where they came from because you have female slaves and you have male slaves. And you can, believe me, they're going to fuck. And 
you're going to have an endless supply of new slaves. So what's better, feeding all the slaves properly? On the, well, you, for when you're just kidnappers? Nope. When you're just the kidnappers who steal the slaves and then sell the slaves, you're not going to feed them or treat them well. And if a bunch die, it's not even, it's not, it's better to have them die because having two new slaves, I mean, two slaves fuck and produce a new baby is easier than fucking taking care of your slaves in a lot of ways. It's a holocaust. Say it with me. Holocaust. But no one tells the truth. No one but me. Sigh. Um... So, do you, are you still going to stick to your story that, no, America's done some bad shit, some fucked up shit, you can't compare it to Nazi Germany. I agree. Nazi Germany was better than America in thousands of categories. Again, you'll say, now you're just exaggerating. I don't fucking exaggerate. There's no reason to. The fucking horrors I describe don't need any exaggeration. When you murder, try to murder all American Indians, uh, it's hard to exaggerate. <laughs> And there's no need to exaggerate, okay? That's beyond insane. Um, so cut the shit. I don't exaggerate. I'm the most accurate human you'll ever fucking meet. So shut the fuck up. Stop fucking doubting the things I say and listen And so I don't have to digress. Everything I say is true. Every time anyone's doubted me in the past, they were wrong. You can look it up. When I said Barack Obama was an asshole and a fake heir, everyone else said he was the fucking savior. When I said fucking Bernie Carrick was a criminal for five years, everybody said he was, he was a hero's hero and a fucking cop's cop. Then he went to prison. No one ever apologized. I mean, you can't pick a category where I was wrong. I'm sorry. Pick any category. Science, anthropology, architecture. Pick a category. Terrorism, uh, ec econ economics. Pick a category, and I'll go on forever with shit you never knew. Sadly, I am the smartest person that ever lived, and that's not good. My fucking brain is filled with more information than any humans in history, and it's almost all dark knowledge because it's true and it's wise. And I'm not a fucking dumb sheep who believes the crap they, they teach us. So, let's try and rein it back a little bit towards Bellevue Hospital. Um, but to finish my point, uh, America is a zillion times worse. Now, if I say zillion, that means I'm kind of, I'm, I'm trying to tell you that it's, I'm, I can't say trillions. I'm saying it's a fuckload beyond the amount you can count. Um, I mean, you pick all the categories. Not, the Nazis were pro-animal rights. America isn't. <laughs> I mean, any category you want to name, pick a category, asshole. The Nazis created the fucking Volkswagen bug. The most reliable car of all time, fucking bit most popular car of all time. Because they wanted the middle class to have something functional. When was the last time America did that? Never. Do you, are you, do you not, you people don't know shit. I don't know why you offer your opinions or think I'm wrong. When you don't know shit about shit. Because you don't do your homework, you lazy fucks. All you want to do is get laid and fucking eat chocolate. Human savages. Hey, so I'm on a bed right now made by Corecraft. It was made by slave laborers for two cents an hour. And they're lime green, well, ugly institutional, sad lime green. And, <laughs> and they, they feel like, same as in my book, Perverted Little Creep, on, on store shelves near you. Uh, no, I don't even know if you can fucking track that book down. Perverted Little Creep. Look, Google it. That's got a lot of my previous Rikers Diaries. Some funny shit in there. Uh, these beds, the mattresses, they feel like you're... It's a giant, giant, giant Sunday New York Times <laughs> that you sleep on. It feels like it's stuffed with paper. But it's not the worst thing. I mean, I've slept on many things much worse. Um, the other night I slept in the fucking courthouse. Come on, on the fucking bench. Sleeping on the court bench. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, what else can I tell you? What else would you like to know? So I have this room all to myself. It's fucking huge. I've never had a fucking apartment this big. Um, there's a bed here, and then across the room is another bed identical to it. 
And uh, these beds are good because they have these things on the ends of them, metal, uh, so people can pick them up and carry them. And it's great if you want to do sit-ups because I never get to do any sit-ups because you sit-ups are a pain in the ass. It's best to have somewhere where you can lock your feet. Okay, that's not really interesting information. Uh, let's move on. We, you enter the room, and both beds have their own lockers that have combination locks. It's very nice. Um, they're both pretty large. I could probably fit three acoustic guitars upright, and then there's three more smaller shelves, like I think three microwaves could fit there. Pretty large. And you have your own combination when you come in. And then when you leave, you have to give them your combination lock in exchange for a subway car, car fare. That's their bribe system. Because I ride a bicycle and no one else does. Um, when you're homeless, rather. Because uh, um, I've got large windows. The room has enormous windows. Um, a little institution. I'm looking out at what's almost like a courtyard. So I'm looking at all the uh, two other sides of the building. Looking at all these windows with all the lights on. Those are mostly lobbies, I believe. There's not really, there's only a one or, I least like one or two bedroom lights on. And the other floors, things like that. Of course, it is 1 a.m., so there's a good chance most of the homeless guys are asleep right now. And when I arrived, it was a little foreboding, and I looked, I uh, saw the people lining up the metal detectors, and I thought, oh, I, I, while I was waiting, oh, I saw the metal detectors, I'm like, fuck, they're going through everybody's bags, yeah, it makes sense, they're not going to want people to come here and party. They might be looking for drugs or booze. Um, and then I was like, oh, I have half a bottle of vodka in me. Oh, I didn't even finish that story. I'm so sad. That's one of the reasons I hate to digress, but I, everything I digress on is something you need to know. So it's, 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 it's rock hard place. Rock hard. Let's open up a restaurant called Rock Hard Place. Uh, a shitty restaurant. And, uh, what was I thinking? Oh, when the van ran over the van, sorry to get to this. When the van ran over me and I got in the ambulance and they said, uh, we don't have any kind of painkillers. I said, oh my God. I, was, I remember I was nauseous. I'm sweating from being run over by a van. And it's like, I don't know if I'm going to black out or what, but the pain is beyond excruciating. And um, they had no painkillers of any kind. That's not humane. I was, I was willing to take anything. I would have fucking snorted heroin or whatever. But then I was like, oh good, I have my emergency bottle of vodka. And I chugged the fuck out of that. And then I was flying high. So today I happen to have half a bottle of vodka. I'm being like, fuck, I don't even want to drink this right now. And that's a lot, that's a more than I wouldn't want to drink so quickly. But, and I hadn't eaten much. But, I was like, I was going to hide it. I don't know if there was anywhere around I could hide it anyhow. But I didn't want to get busted. I don't I remember I hadn't ever been here. I didn't know what to expect. So it's like, I don't know how strict they are. I don't know what to expect. So I better play this safe. Um, I went across the street and chugged it. And then I was like, why? I should have planned on getting drunk to come to this place. Because what if it was really horrible? All uh, right, what if it really stank? Or the only parts of it stink like body odor or urine. Mostly it smells like ammonia, which sucks because smelling ammonia after you go to Rikers always takes you right back to Rikers Island. It's a perfect trigger, and it's kind of awful. Of course, I've been there so many times, it's like a second home, so that's what backfires. The morons don't realize it. The more you go to jail, the less useful it is because it's just like a fucking vacation home. <laughs> you, you acclimate. Three. Like I said, we didn't do that. Yeah, you did, stupid assholes. But there's too much money in jails. And that's why America has fucking the largest jail complex on earth. I bet you I bet you the Nazis never even had fucking two million people in custody at one time. Holy fuck. Shit. We're going to do a part three. This has been the end of part two. <laughs>